everybody, welcome back to Tom Tries, and we continue our quest into Gloomhaven, now with scenario number two, a hole in the wall. But in the between times, we finally have names for our adventurers. We have our human Void Warden, who is now going to be known as Nita, going after uh, Nita Strauss, uh, the uh, awesome guitar player uh, for Alice Cooper, and just amazing amazing uh guitarist and then we have the iron uh the enox hatchet uh going by the name of axel i i wasn't going for a rock connection like axel rose i was just thinking hatchet axe and then adding an l but i kind of i kind of got a rock and roll thing going on and i am totally cool with a little bit of a rock and roll theme uh we'll put their sheets off to the side for the time being and between games, uh, we also gave both of the characters their new class B or their new B cards. Uh, took out the A's for the two that we needed on both sides. And I think that catches uh, catches you up on uh, everything going on. In this scenario, hole in the wall, we have a few new mechanisms added. You can see we've got some stuff on the board. We've got these traps that uh, whenever a character steps into it, it will cause three points of damage so that'll uh, go along with a new mechanic push and pull that we have uh, going on we also have a uh, treasure that we can loot uh so we've got uh money tokens that'll be worth two gold each and then we've got this here which we don't know what it is yet it just says uh entry 14 in the treasure index on the inside of the glossary once we get to there but we're not there yet. And you also notice that we still have the symbols here for more of the Firmling Raiders, but we don't spawn them until we hit this door. So we only deal with this first room once either uh, Nita or Axel uh, hit that square. Well, X, uh, they will open up the door and then we'll spawn the other room. And now we also have to deal with uh, these action cards for the Vermling Raiders. We uh, don't know exactly what they're doing every turn anymore, which is uh, a little rough, but at least for our two player, we don't have any elites we have to deal with. Uh, uh, I don't think in any room, I'm not paying too much attention to the second room too much, uh, but the top one, we don't have any elites. These two don't spawn as we are playing two player. And I think that's, uh, I think that's it. I know the uh, other thing that I learned too, uh, at least reading our book, is we don't just pick up the uh, loot when we step on it. We have to end our turn on it or have a card with loot. That's how we pick it up. So that's, uh, that, that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to get used to. And also we don't just necessarily get it at the end of the scenario. Once the scenario ends, we finish out that round and that's it. So stuff can get left behind. Uh, so yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're definitely gonna have to take that into account, but, uh, let's, uh, let's get into our story. The tracks are easy to spot. Vermlings have never been known for their subtlety. You follow the scratching and indicators of a body being dragged until you find yourself approaching the walls of Gloomhaven. The sun is very low, but something isn't right. That isn't just a shadow cast across the lower section of the wall. It's a hole. The Vermlings have made a nest for themselves by burrowing into the wall itself. How industrious. You crouch low and try to sneak closer, but they must have guards watching the entrance. There's a shrill shrieking. And then, a number of Vermlings jump from the dark, brandishing their dull, poorly made weapons. No choice now but to defend yourself. Luckily, you managed to get your second wind, but you will definitely need a nice long bath after this ordeal. And our special rules make sure each character has swapped two of their ability cards marked A for the B cards of the same name. So their starting hand still consists of six cards, which as I told you before we did, we also need to give our characters their starting health. Nita, our void warden gets six. Axel, our hatchet, starting with eight. I debated about switching out uh, to someone uh, who's uh, a little more beefy up front, but I don't know, I kind of like this combo. It was, it was a little scary last time, but you know, we, we still had fun at the end of the day. We can spawn our two heroes anywhere on the board. Nita is starting here, just a little bit back, while uh, Axel is going to start there. We're, I'm hopeful uh, to get a push on uh, that first uh, 
Vermling Raider to get him into that trap. So we'll see. I need to scoot that over a little bit. Uh, and I think, I think that's uh, everything for there. Let's get our player reference here. So yeah, we go to card selection. So let's let's take a look at what we've got. And let's let's take a look at those uh, new B cards because I know if we use uh, the bottom half of this one here with the move and loot this card is automatically lost due to that symbol on the bottom here so it doesn't go discard it goes straight to loss which uh it's a little rough but it lets you move four and loot one on the way so let's hmm let's take a look here i think we're gonna have him use center mass to get the push because we want to shove him uh we want to shove that vermling raider into that trap and then if we do uh, i don't want a ranged attack if we can help it but here's the plus side we can use any one of these because now we have the uh, top half bottom half so we can do an attack at two without using uh everything above because we're going to be right next to this other vermling raider so i think we use this for our uh, hatchet's other half of their turn get these down let's take a look at the void warden uh let's see suggestion okay so we have lure of the void this has disarm that's a new one for us uh that is cannot attack remove at the end of next turn so we can block attacks using that disarm which is good now uh, that's at our range of three and force the target to perform a move two with you controlling the action that's that's interesting all right um we don't lose uh for the top half but the bottom half we would one ally within range three may perform attack six but if they do they suffer six uh they suffer two damage uh let's see we have a loot one strengthen so realistically we want them to step forward one so we can try to get that coin at the end of the turn so we've got a move three and a muddle okay that that's actually not bad uh, so that'll be a step forward and a muddle. And then we we can do kind of the same thing as we're doing with uh, our other friend there. The attack two. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll go with yeah. Turn out uh, the turn out the lights on the top card, or uh, at least on the bottom card, uh, just so we can use that other action. That's gonna do it for us. So now. We've got a whoops did that backwards and we go 24 23 so right now it is void warden and a hatchet but now we got to see what the firmlings are going to do they're on a 50 so we are correct they're moving zero and they are attacking uh with a plus zero so they're going to behave exactly like they did in the last scenario thanks to uh that blue text down below so uh all right let's uh let's do this we've got a move three and a muddle range three so we're gonna move one to here and then we are going to use this attack uh two we're not gonna do attack three at range because otherwise we would have disadvantage so we're just gonna do the attack two uh so it's gonna be attack for a two against number five yeah we do at a plus one that is three damage coming on to number five. There we go. Three is on there. Those are discarded and we ended our action on the coin. Well, on the money. Let us grab that for there. Let's just stick this here. Trying to, trying to have enough room i know eventually we're gonna have to deal with items too so that's gonna be uh that's gonna be something all right so with our hatchet we're gonna use the move three push two so this is gonna move one here and now we can push uh this uh two spaces away and go one two they will pass through this trap and according to our uh traps cause any figure who enters it to suffer three damage remove the trap what's the number six all right number six is also sitting on three 
So that was our move and push. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the Void Warden, not use the actual top ability. We are just going to attack for two because this is a ranged attack and I would prefer not to shoot range so uh, and take the disadvantage. So let's uh, do the attack two times two. So that is a attack of four. Gonna be enough to knock uh, that Vermling Raider out of the equation. Let's get them removed, taken care of. Uh, all right, that's uh, that's it for uh, our, our buddy Axel. Now, uh, our enemies here. Uh, Axel has focus. Uh, Axel should have focus against t uh, again here, but they're going to actively avoid the trap. So we'll move them there. They uh, are not attacking with a range this turn. And that should be the, that should be it. So now we need to shuffle this back into the deck. The other one stays out for the Vermlings. We're, we're not off to a bad start. We've got one on the ropes, one starting to come towards us, one murdered. You see, all we have left is the one coin in this room, so we, we could start making our way out pretty quick. As we learned in the last game, we, we really need to work on speeding things up, so. All right, here is... Okay, that's, that's done here. We are on a new round, so let's go to card selection. Let's use a uh, Void Warden first. One ally within range two may perform an attack four. That's not bad. Uh, and then if, let's see, how far away is that? One, two, three away. So I think, yeah, we'll go the uh, Black Boond move. And then maybe let, yeah, let you attack. All right. So that's what we'll do there. Hatchet. Right now, not at disadvantage. So attack three at a range three wouldn't be terrible. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. That's stopping power. And then we could do a, a move action. That wouldn't be bad. Because we're going to enter there. So let's, uh, let's do, let's do this. All right, so. Because I prefer, I, I would definitely prefer to try to get uh, Axel to go first, just so he'll be further ahead to maybe target. Uh, if we don't kill this one, maybe attack this one, uh, using the bonus from the uh, from Nita there. So let's uh, let's take a look. 1843. So Hatchet's first, Void Warden's there, and 59. They're attacking with a plus zero, but at a range of two, and they get to target two. So we uh, we definitely need to do some work here. All right. Uh, the good news for us, they uh, they will act last. We're gonna try to turn these. Me this way I don't get them all confused. Uh, I'm pretty good at that. So let's take a look here. Uh, we were going to attack three at a range of three. So we're attacking uh, our, our little buddy number six here who only needs two to two to two to be deaded. Let's see what we do. Plus one, that's going to be enough to remove them from the board. And now we've got a move five. So I think we're going to go one, two, three. I think we'll stop there because uh, I, I don't know if I want to get into the next room this exact second, uh, just because we're, they're all going to activate, but we know they're going to target at a range two and not move. So we could set them there. That room would be opened and we'd be set up for the next turn. But keep in mind, we're down to the last two cards. So would it be more advantageous to maybe take a rest before opening the door or do we just go ham? Um... And this, uh, that little dude's not necessarily going to be dead. And right now we're, we're within range too. So let's, let's actually step forward. And that's going to trigger this other room here. And now we need to spawn three critters. Uh, actually just two. So let's just, uh, for the sake of simplicity, we'll use the two that we've already murdered. 
one to here one to here that'll come off that door has been open they will activate at the end of this round luckily this one uh doesn't spawn in a two player makes our life a little bit nice so that wraps up hatchet's turn only has uh one more action available before having to at least take or having to take a short rest and now we're going to have nita move nita is moving four one two three opting to grab the money on the way and then we are going to have them one ally within two range may perform an attack four oh but it's not a ranged attack oh that oh that was that was a mistake that was a big mistake on our part um so it would be the attack two it's not going to do anything um yeah we'll, we'll we'll just use the top half of the card instead which does us nothing Ooh, that was that was a wasted card that's that's not good but at least at the end of the turn we're gonna get this money once again worth two so very helpful uh now they are going to attack using dual daggers they don't move and we are one two we're further out one two further out further out so no attacks coming down from them except for they do actually okay so they attack they don't move according to the card so they're not attacking or so they're not trying to step into range so that makes our life a little bit nicer all right that should uh wrap up that round now we've got two cards left uh so i think we're playing uh these two with this one on top take a look here see if we're gonna do a short rest first uh and probably not um ooh, that's gonna be a late action so one ally within range three may perform attack six Ooh. Ah, this this would have been nice earlier one ally within range three may perform attack two at a range three that's kind of what we were looking for before so we're just gonna do this and this uh that's gonna wrap that up hatchet's gonna go first at 25 void warden 36 they are going to move and attack uh they'll move to avoid being adjacent so let's uh let's see what we can see what we can pull off here so we can move and loot but if we do that option we have a little bit of an issue of we would lose the card and we definitely don't want to lose cards so we could attack attack two at a range three okay so let's see one two three one two so i can definitely draw a line straight from there to there because as long as it touches we technically have line of sight line of sight in this game is really weird to me it's the one it, it, it just kind of bugs me a little bit but i definitely can draw a line of sight from there to there so if we do the attack two range of three let's attack our further back one here first uh so attack two times two that's gonna be four damage all right oh one two three oh no we grabbed a three well, there we go we got four damage off and now we're gonna attack <sighs> number six using the double throw and we get a minus one. It's only one damage coming to six. But hey, still, still not bad. Um, we're gonna have to reshuffle his cards uh, because we did get the uh, the times two again. So uh, we move over to this side. And what can we do? We could disarm at a range of three. One ally within three range could perform an attack two at a range of three three uh that wouldn't be bad that really would not be bad for us uh because the bottom half here is not going to do us any favor top half disarms not terrible um 
Yeah, but I, st I think we're going to use Gift of the Void, the top half. One ally within range three may perform attack two at a range three. We're going to hit the number one because we're working our way into here. Let's see how we do. It's attack two at a range three plus zero. Uh, that is going to be enough to take number one out. Because all they needed was five. So good on us. This card is out of the way. Now, we're not using uh, the one ally within range three. May perform attack six. We are going to move two. Uh, and by move two, we're going to move one. Because we could move through our uh, uh, Axel buddy there. But we can't stop mid-turn. So a little bit of a little bit of a bummer for us now we go to the bad guy's side they need a range of two so let's see we've got one two one two there we go so he's gonna have to step up one to be able to hit they will and now they're gonna try to attack which they will but it's at a minus one their attack is a two so right now it's a one it is back to a two so hatchet taking two damage taking us down to six not terrible then here we uh definitely don't have enough movement so let us take one step closer as we uh, need to go around this path uh to get to us still not enough to attack that should do it for that round and we need to get this deck reshuffled all right there we are and both hatchet and nita so axel and nita are both going to take a short rest and like last time i don't want to see what we lost normally never feels good so let's put that there and also be nice to get some more coins on to hatchet so we'll see if we can get uh Get him around, do some damage. We are back to the start of another turn. Careful throw is going to go back over to here. We don't know the order quite yet. So let's uh, let's get into it. Let's see. Hatchet's in the doorway right now. So let's take a look and see what we can do. Ooh, we lost uh, we lost the big lose uh, card. The one that lets him go four and uh, pick an item up. That's, that's rough. Hmm. <laughs> So we have an attack one range of three. Bond has muddle, which would uh, force that enemy to have a uh, disadvantage on the next turn. Attack three at a range of three. That's going to be bad against number six. I think I actually like that enough that we'll do that. Uh, and you know, we could make it a plus one using uh, add one to all uh, uh, to all your attacks this turn. It wouldn't be a bad combo. Because right now that would be an attack of four currently enough to kill number six. So yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Lower number on top for the 24. Nita's turn. Let's see what see what we can do here. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, you didn't you didn't lose your big card. I I, I was I was a little worried there. Um, hmm. Well, we could heal at a range of three. Or uh, yeah, it'd be heal range of three to get uh, hatchet back up. It'd be nice to get uh, need him moved inside too. So let's us uh, move three with a muddle and heal. All right, twenty three forty three and see what the raiders are gonna do they got a screaming shot which is gonna be a push one and attack one so they are on an 85 definitely know they're going last we got a 23 on the void warden and a 24 on two hatchets oh so we've got a hatchet void warden vermling raider going in that order so we wanted you to move three so let's go one two can't share the space don't want to step on a trap let's go three here and then i can muddle at a range of three let us muddle what's the symbol for that
Number six now has a muddle. And we're gonna use the heal three at a range of three to heal Axel. Uh, it's only gonna take him back up to eight, so not a full heal, but I think, uh, I think he's gonna appreciate it anyway. Now, for the other side, we're gonna have Axel use the double throw to add plus one attack to all your attacks this turn. Make an attack three at a range of three uh, to hit Vermling number six here. So right now we're swinging for four, which is enough to kill, hopefully. Plus zero. That will take Vermling Raider off the board. Well, well done us. All right, that's gonna go to the discard. Now this Vermling Raider is going to do a push one uh, to all adjacent enemies. Then it's going to attack one at a range of two. So it's going to try to get into range to attack. Uh, and right now that's gonna block line of sight. That blocks line of sight. Screaming shot. I don't think he's gonna move. So yeah, cause I, he's got no way of attacking it decent of enough range so i do believe vermling raider is gonna stay still this gets reshuffled oh i'm still sad that we lost uh the the, the loot and pick up this is this, this is why you look at your cards uh the ones that you're losing all right those have a nice little shuffle to them these are gonna go back all we have left is number five to knock out. Uh, we're back to the top of a new round. This doesn't get shuffled. That doesn't get shuffled. Uh, Hatchet's only got a couple cards left. So we could move uh, one, two, three, four, five. Get to the chest. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Then we have an attack of three, range of three. Or I can do an uh, attack one with a muddle, which would be terrible. But I think we'll use I think we'll use stopping power instead. And let's take a look at uh, Nita's card. See what we can do. We have a one ally within range three may perform an attack. That wouldn't be bad. So if we can get ooh, but she'd have to walk through a trap to make it happen. Ooh, that's uh, that's rough. That's gonna do three damage. Cut her health in half. Possible. All right. Um. Oh, I don't like it, but I think that's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna use turn out the lights, gift of the void. We're gonna go back on top. And now we need to see where they're coming in with. They're at a 59 on the dual daggers. They're not moving this round again. Now we've got a 49. And we've got a 35, or we have 18 or a 35. Hatchet definitely moving first. Hatchet's gonna use that move five to go one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, when treasure tiles looted, so at the end of this turn, we'll get that knocked out. Then stopping power attack three at a range of three. One, two, three. Let's see how we do. Oh, wow. Attack of four. So let us uh, get these out onto number five. There's a three and a one. One more damage, and they're done. And at the end of his. He is going to uh, loot the tile he's on. So when this treasure tile is looted, look for entry 14 in the treasure index. Let's see. Treasure index. Rally towards the back. It is. Uh, gain three money tokens. There we go. We were worried about uh, Axel not uh, having as much money as Nita coming out of this. But hey, that uh, that actually worked out quite well. Now we go to the other side. 
and we'll use the turn off the lights to have you move too and i'm sorry about that because this is gonna hurt so we go one two to push you through it's a thing because if we go if we were here if we go one two that's a range in range three one two three oh hey that actually works all right so we'll do that and then one ally within range three attack two at a range of three uh using their deck so let's see how hatch does plus zero that's gonna be enough to take out the vermling raider that is all enemies destroyed only one uh only one item uh we didn't pick up along the way we i, I wish we would have had one more movement point well yeah well one more if we would have uh taken the trap damage but uh that that felt very good especially in comparison to the last game we did uh we did quite good but with the foulness cleanse of those wretched creatures you take your time searching every nook surely the city guard will want to know about this can't be safe to have vermlings tunneling through the walls they are enough to fend off their raids as is eventually you do manage to find an unexpectedly large amount of gold under some rotten wooden boards sifting through the treasury you also find a strange note a crude scratching it details some business arrangement between the firmlings and someone by the name of roland apparently in exchange for supplying fresh corpses roland would pay the firmlings in gold and judging by the amount here the firmlings managed to kill quite a few people before you put it into it it's the best lead you have so it's time to ferret out this roland character after resting at the sleeping lion of course so each of our characters are going to be getting 25 gold each uh plus two for each money that we have on us uh and then we are also going to be getting the item shop and a new location which i will get stuck to the board at a later time but hey that's gonna do it uh for this uh this episode of uh, gloomhaven that scenario too very successful very quick uh, i i felt i felt like we tore through but of course this is tutorial um but I, I, I felt much better about uh, this time than our last game where I kind of felt like I was struggling a little bit. Uh, but we're, we're definitely getting the hang of this. Um, odds are we probably made some rule mistakes. Uh, it, it's going to happen. And hey, I, I don't have a glaring, uh, glaring issue up here. It's a little darker, but as reflective as this is, I kind of I kind of had to make some arrangements just to uh, make sure we can get some stuff. But uh, this is a very uh, shiny, shiny player board. Uh, well, book. <laughs> player board book uh map you you know the words i'm trying to say but hey that'll do it for this uh we'll we'll get you caught up on uh, the stuff between scenario two and three on the start of the next round including what items uh, we may pick up from the shop uh, and yeah that's uh gonna do it hey if you like the video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more board game content and video game content right here on the tom tries channel hey we'll be back with more gloomhaven next wednesday i think this is going to be a wednesday series uh hopefully that works for you uh and hey tune in this uh tune in this friday we've got some marvel champions coming out uh should be a good time more marvel gauntlet uh happening as well but until next time ttfn ta-ta for now